Are you a fan of home and family? If you're in the Los Angeles area and would like to be a part of our audience, send us an email at hnfaudience at gmail.com. Audience members must be 12 years of age and older, and groups of up to four people are welcome. We'd love to see you here in our home. She's played a magical ghost, a James Bond beauty, Queen Marie Antoinette, a medicine woman, a great opera, opera star. star. Well, there's so many, I so know. many roles. Yeah. Jane but Seymour she... is here. Good to have you with us. You're Thank playing you. a queen in this one. This is a Hallmark movie. Uh, it's a, um, a royal Christmas. And um, so many roles that you play. What This one is, the premise behind this is... The premise behind this is that Queen Isadora of Cordinia, who is my character, has sent her only son, her only child off to um, America to get a degree and then come back and be the royal prince. Uh, in the meantime, he comes back when he's summoned with his girlfriend, who's from Brooklyn, and the daughter of a tailor. This is not what I had in mind. <laughs> he was supposed to come back and marry the Duchess, who, um, as it happens, is played in Your this instance. Your daughter. Uh, my daughter, yes. Yes. Lynn. And um, anyway, so he comes back, and so I decide that I'm going to prove. You see, there's Katie, there's this, and yeah. that's wow. the lovely uh, girl from Brooklyn, Lacey Chabert. So, and Stephen, of course. And uh, you look so queen. You look like <laughs> the real deal over well, here. I, I, I felt very queenly. Yeah. I brought all my own jewelry with me. So. <laughs> Actually, I provided all the wardrobe too, as I recall. But, um, but uh, even her dress. But, I assume she's uh, not. The queen's not happy with this. Does the not queen approve. Is, the queen does not approve. So it's quite comedic because what she does is she tries to prove to her son and everyone that she could this young girl couldn't possibly be a future queen so she provides the worst food on the planet you like really disgusting ugly jelly octopus and really strange disgusting things all of which Lacey brilliantly ate uh -huh. I don't know how she did that but um, and and he she, she tries everything in her power but we then find out later on that she's not this evil mean queen for a, no reason it, she actually has always felt that duty came first and there is a little oh. secret about her backstory, which makes at the end makes you kind of like, well. What are we? Oh. What are we going to see here? Yes, there's. A are we going to reveal um, what that? I little? think we're going to see the time when um, her son comes back for the first time, and she tries to point out to him, you know, what his ex, his. what she had expected him to do. Oh, okay. Right. Take a look. Why am I only just hearing about this now? Because if I told you about it earlier, it would only have given you more time to ruin things. Well, you've been infatuated before. We love each other. I know you like to be in control of things, but my feelings, they're not in your realm. One day you're going to be king, whether you like it or not, and with that position comes responsibility. You don't even know her. I don't need to. She's a commoner. Actually, she's the most uncommon girl I've ever known. I should never have allowed you to go to America. You were supposed to get an education, come back here, and marry Natasha. What happened to the plan? That was your plan, Mother. Mm. <laughs> wow. I noticed that you know, your beautiful daughter is in it. Do you have any, when she dates people, are you that way with your kids? Because I know uh, you have a lot of them. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, she married the most wonderful young man called Brett Simon. Uh -huh. And uh, she has an adorable baby uh, oh. called Willa Mighty Simon. Yeah, that's Katie beautiful. there. This is it was so, so much fun working with her. She's a really good actress. Can we just talk about these clothes for a second? Uh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, my goodness, how beautiful. They're, they're is quite that nice. from your, your collection? You um, I, I did purchase this and bring it for the... Um, for the show, and that's uh -huh. actually one of my dresses that Katie wore. Um, there's their tiaras and my real diamond earrings over here. Oh. No, I, wow. I, we decided to up the ante. Yes, of the, sure. Uh, well, of and the queen. It, it is she a is she a departure? Is that a fair assessment from the other kind of roles that you've played? How much of her do you connect with and go? This is a little bit of. You know the medicine woman, or oh whatnot. gosh, no, no, no. Not at Queen all. Isadora has nothing to do with anything I've ever played. <laughs> She's frightfully British, very regal, and, <laughs> and way over the top. Is that good? <laughs> I mean, do you like to play something and take on something fresh oh, and absolutely. new? Oh, absolutely, it's fun, and it's fun playing, you know, sort of heightened royalty. Right. And it's playing. I love playing comedy, as you know. Yeah. But I also, what I love about the Hallmark movies is that they're just they're heartwarming. The characters, mm -hmm. rather like Doctor Quinn. Doctor Quinn would have, you know, think the, something should be a certain way, and then by by the end of the show, you'd realize she'd learned something. And I think that's kind of what happens to Queen Isadora here, too. Sure. I know you've had a whole lifetime of uh, acting is, is your passion, but you also started out as a dancer, or you wanted to be a dancer when you were... I did. Yeah. I wanted to be a dancer when I was a little girl, and um, I, I studied ballet. I actually danced with the Kirov at Covent Garden when I was 
uh, 17. Then I injured myself and could never dance again and got stuck becoming an actress. Oh. So I've been well, it kind of worked out for you, Jane. I've been trying to find it. <laughs> well, when you say you couldn't dance, you can dance. You just couldn't do it on a professional level. Well, I definitely couldn't level. do it professionally, and I didn't think I'd ever dance again until Until dancing with the stars. With the stars. Yes. I know. Yeah. That was insane. Look, there I am to the backstage. Look at there, you. Tony. My goodness. <laughs> yes, the, Tony's amazing. I just have to say that Dancing with the Stars is one of the highlights of my life. Really? And uh, that was done actually immediately after my mother's funeral, if you can believe oh. that. So I'd had three days, four days in England to learn a tango, which I'd never even seen a tango. Oh, that was when uh, we were backstage doing um, the Viennese Waltz, which is much more more my my pace huh. it, it was the it was the jive that killed me though <laughs> <laughs> Did, I, I understand that that because of dancing with the stars it sort of led you into yes. open heart uh, explain How did that, that happen? well my mother um, had always told me that in life when there are challenges your instinct will be to close off your heart right, right. and keep it to yourself but if you could accept what it had happened however awful and open your heart and reach out in some way to help someone else love and purpose would come in your life but how does dancing well I made this little image I, I had a single necklace made so I could wear it because my mother had a stroke and this was her favorite show she wanted me to do it but I knew I'd never see her again because she was dying so I thought I'll wear a necklace that depicts the open heart and it'll remind me that I have to let go of my mom and and remember her advice and then randomly the people from uh, K Jewelers saw me wearing this um, at a dinner and said what's that and I explained and I said okay if we can make a difference in the world and inspire people to open their hearts and also we have the open heart foundation where we, um, you know, where we honor people who've taken a challenge in life and mm -hmm. turned it into an opportunity to help others. So, open hearts is is has been an amazing thing, yeah. and and you know the jewelry, of course, is in the stores, but the books I've I've written yeah. about the books, yeah. I have the new one about the wave, which um, yeah. Yeah. I brought here. Um, yeah, it's all about those moments that you never expect in life that all of a sudden change the tra trajectory of your life and look you know, what you've everyone, accomplished. You know, everyone yeah. has change in their lives. Yeah. Everyone has challenge yeah. and. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I, I think that, you know, if it were all over tomorrow, the fact that I was able to in some way impart or share this information that my mother gave me, I think would be very important. You know, important. just when I thought I couldn't be more inspired by you, you're going to teach us how to paint. Yes. We're, we're going to try. Yeah, yes. we're going to try in a six-minute okay. master class. <laughs> Tune into the world premiere of Hallmark Channel's A Royal Christmas on November 22nd. Be sure to check out janeseymour.com, too. Wonderful stuff available there for you. Uh, we're going to come right back. And again, it's time for watercolors. Okay. We're see. Let's do it. All right. I'm excited. Away.